Hey guys, Dan with Create Minis. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take three separate themes and apply them to your Star Wars Legion bases. Every one of them will take you 10 minutes or less, and I guarantee you it'll make your army look twice as good. So first, let's start with a desert base. You can use this base for a planet such as Tatooine or Jakku or anything like that. To start out, we're going to take a liquid superglue and apply it wherever we'd like the rock texture. Next, I'm going to be using a playground sand to add some rocky texture to the base. This sand you can find at your local hardware store. Now if you want to, you can put the sand through some sort of strainer in order to get some of the bigger rocks and chunks out of it. In this video, I'm going to be using two technical paints by Citadel. In this particular instance, I'm going to be using the Agrellin Earth. Now when you paint this on, you're going to paint it in a thicker layer, and when it dries, it's going to crack, creating a broken earth crust type texture. Now when using this paint, don't be afraid to apply it liberally. When it dries, it's going to contract and crack a little bit. If you put it too thin, it won't crack as much as you want to, and it may flake off. If you put it thicker, you'll get a little bit more of an effect when you dry it. Also, you want to kind of overlap the rocks that you put on there a little bit, so that way there's not a definite line in between where the paint you've added started and the rocks you have end. Now you can let the paint just air dry, but I also prefer to take a hair dryer. If you dry it faster, it seems to have a bigger effect and it cracks a little bit more. Once the paint is fully dry, we're going to prime it. Here, I just use a plain white matte primer. Now, I'm going to apply Agrax Earthshade. You want to apply this quite thick over the entire piece. Start it in the rock area, as you'll notice that this will almost absorb the shade a little bit more. Begin there, and then pull the shade into the flat area when you're done. Now, once the entire model is coated, begin to pull the shade into the areas that you want the darkest. Once it's evenly coated, take a little bit more shade and darken it to your liking. Now, paint the rim black. I know a lot of people will paint their rims crazy colors or put names and something like that on there, but what painting it black does is it really frames in your workpiece and it really makes all of the colors and work that you just did pop. So there you have it, there's one base down. I told you this would be easy. So now, let's move on to something a little bit more challenging. We'll do a wooded base for a planet such as Kashyyyk or Endor. 
These are the tools you'll need. So to start this base, I'm going to need some wood. Now this wood here is from one of those Christmas villages. You don't necessarily need craft store type sticks or wood. You can find sticks outside. So however you want to get it, grab some wood and start scoring the edges like this. You want to make it in a nice diagonal line because naturally wood isn't going to break in a nice square edge. So score the edge and then take your fingers and break the wood in half. Now, I'll use the other half of the wood to create some more broken pieces. What I'll do is I will cut it parallel with the actual log itself. Splitting pieces off, breaking bark off, just do it randomly. Make it look as though the wood has just broken apart or decayed over time. Rough fit your arrangement, and then you're going to secure it using a gel super glue. For stuff like this, tweezers is your best friend. It'll allow you to put the part exactly where you want it in the glue without getting your hands full of it. Because I find it easier to work with, I'll usually attach my workpiece to a piece of cork I have laying around using some poster tech. Now, take the liquid super glue again and put it in spots where you're going to make the transition between the log and the base. Here we're going to be sprinkling some sand and dirt to try and make the transition a little bit more smooth. You also want to lay some super glue down where you want little scraps of wood. Sprinkle sand around the areas where the base meets the logs. This will help kind of break up that real sharp transition and make it look a lot more natural when you paint it. Now we're going to prime the part. We're going to use a black here because we want the darkest areas to have a nice heavy shadow. While priming, Try to avoid spraying the actual vertical wood as much as possible. Now for a base coat, I'm going to be using Vallejo's Chocolate Brown, although any brown paint you have will do. Spread a nice even coat throughout all the areas that are not touching the logs. This is going to represent your wood and ground underneath. Now we're going to apply some earth shade. The earth shade is going to do exactly what it says, shade the earth. You're going to use this on top of the brown that you just painted. It's going to create some depth and a mud-like look.
After your shade is dry, we're going to use Zandri Dust in order to dry brush the highlighted areas. Take this, put it on an old makeup brush, and remove most of the paint from your brush. Then take it and rub it along the high areas and some of the logs, creating a highlighted effect. Once you've highlighted, add a little bit of shrubbery. These are from Game Workshop, but there's multiple different companies that make little tufts of grass that you can add to these. Take one out, take a little drop of super glue to help make sure it stays secured, and place them next to the tree trunk. Frame in your work by painting the rim black, and there you have it, another base down, this time for a wooded planet. Next up, we're going to create a base for a snow-covered planet such as Hoth. We'll start out by using some cork. This cork you can find at your local hobby store, otherwise this is from Ikea. You can get three sheets of this for a couple dollars. What you'll do is just break off a chunk that we're going to be using for rocks. Take that chunk and break off smaller pieces, keeping one side flat and the other sides a little bit more domed like a rock. Take the bits that you've just broken out and super glue them into spots on the base. Now take care to think about which model you're going to place on here, so that way you don't place these rocks right where his feet are going to be. Now, to create more texture, we're going to be using our sand again. Just like on the desert planet, use liquid super glue and spread it out evenly over the base. Then, we're going to sprinkle the sand around the rocks and transition into the flat areas. Now, to achieve a more wintry cold look, start by priming your base gray this time. Once gray, we're going back to the earth shade. Now with the rocks being cork, it absorbs the earth shade a little bit more. So start by applying a thick heavy layer on the rocks and then pulling it down onto the base itself. Spread evenly for a nice smooth finish. Now I'm going to dry brush the raised areas with Sky Gray from Vallejo. Any lighter gray or even white would work for this. Dry brush the entire area, ensuring that you get not only the tops of the rocks, but the sides. If you do not dry brush the sides of the rocks, the transition is going to be pretty sharp and jarring.
Now I'm going to apply the snow itself. A link in the description will show you where I bought it. It's some snow off of Amazon. So what you'll do here is you'll take some super glue gel and place it in the areas in which you want snow. I cannot trust this enough. Using gloves. Take the snow and press it into the areas in which you have the super glue. Start by sprinkling it on top and then slightly dab with your finger into the super glue and make sure that it secures to it. Lightly tap the sides of the base to knock off any excess snow. After that, you're going to take a pair of tweezers and pull out these little flakes that come in the snow. They're little like translucent piece of plastics. They make it look a little more unrealistic. If you have any sticking out, just grab them with the tweezers. Now, once you're sure that this is dry, paint the rim black. Painting the rim black before it's dry, you'll get super glue in your brush and you'll end up ruining it. So that's three quick and easy ways to take your Star Wars Legion army to the next level. If you like what you saw, shoot me a like or subscribe to see more videos like it. You can check out some of my other videos such as my art troopers, or, if you want to see something else painted that I haven't covered yet, put some comments below, let me know. Hey, share this channel, help me out, I would appreciate it. Uh, if you want to see the products that I used, check out the links in the description below. And until next time, send word of an Imperial victory.